seals are getting red, so that's a good sign. A while ago, we took two talons off with an orc mate and did an ERD bond with them. It was fun, but a bit too easy. So today, I'm going to try it alone, flying Mustang Alpha. Can a starter ship handle a hammerhead? Let's jump in and see. So let's get this thing started. System ready. Ejection seat armed. And let's get out. You are clear to launch. Landing complete. Landing gear up. And let's go find the target. I think we got lucky this time and we got a space target right away. So we can just start heading that direction. Okay, we're closing on the target. That's good thing it's in, in space. And I'm actually using a laser cannon loadout here because it should give me a better sustained DPS. DPS, and I don't know, I'm not expecting the main target to move that that fast. So let's round the weapons here. Drive them out. Eye tracker on. And let's go find the target. So I don't know what sort of escorts we're going to have, but the basic tac tactic here needs to be that. First, I'm going to take down the escorts and make sure that they are far away from the main target. Contact. And then I'll concentrate on the hammerhead. So we have a warden and we most likely have a hur hurricane somewhere here since I can't see anything yet. Hurricanes are the ones that will be w visible. Or do we only have two? Well, in any case, let's get A bit farther away, Warden, Hammerhead, and Warden. Okay, two Wardens, that's not that bad. But in any case, we need to kite them a bit farther away from the main target. Main target than they currently are. Also, besides the weapons, I have also upgraded the shields naturally for this one, since it wouldn't make too much sense to go for the battle with weaker shields. What we need to do here, we just need to keep moving fast. For some reason, just can't get enough DPS at that. Okay, that wasn't a good thing, but in any case, let's continue. My well, shield should be enough to take those few hits here to get this one out, or not. Let's go and recharge the shields a bit. And back in the fight. Just a quick boost for the turn and a bit too close for the comfort, but I think it's starting to be in quite bad shape already. So we should have the first escort out quite too quickly. Yeah, this is a kind of challenge that when we have the main target coming at us, then it then it gets quite crowded. Okay, so that was for the first one. Then let's take some distance from the main target again. I think we could use. For, oh, I don't have any missiles. Yeah, that was the case here. Well, in any case, shields are full. I think it's time to join the fight. 
Okay, some rubber banding, not bad. And now for the main target. So the tactic is keep as close as possible, basically orbiting it so the guns, gun, guns cannot track me. And this might take a while. What I'm trying to do is just constantly Hit, it, hit its head while orbiting, orbiting it close and try to keep my shields at high. I just need to keep strafing basically all the time. With this two players it was actually much easier since the other firepower was divided between us. And what I'm worried the most here is that do I have enough firepower to take its seals down? So this is kind of the dance that I want to be in. So just constant, constantly orbiting it close enough and strafing with the high speed, high speed and still getting some shots in. And trying to drag it forward. Well, the shield floor is already changing a bit, so I think I'm doing something here. Okay, now my shields are completely down. But the good thing is that it doesn't take too long for them to recharge the strong 100%, so I'm already back at the fight. Again, taking some damage. Seals are getting red, so that's a good sign. Okay, so I'm actually cut through the shields. Now I just need to make sure that I'm hitting, hitting him constantly so they won't get recharged. Okay, weapon overheating was a new thing I haven't had. That's interesting. Help, well, let's. Well, the only thing I can do here is to keep, just keep pumping the... Keep pumping the laser cannons and hopefully I will get enough hull damage in that it will destroy it. Again, some rubber banding, not that bad. Back at the fight. Managed 
get some pre-charging down for the seal as well. But that was only really short. kind of surprised that this is going trading for the fuel tanks too. Just some corkscrew in to get the seals back up and then start pounding him again. getting red all the time but still some work to do and now I'm taking some shield damage again getting awfully red a bit Yeah, the trick is just keep orbiting as close as you can so the guns have some difficult time tracking you and it uh, can, cannot use all the guns, guns against you. And then just keep hitting a single seal face. I might hope it doesn't have too much left. Everything seems to be red but it still keeps going. Going and going and going like the Dursal Bunny. So for some reason the size ones keep oh it's, yeah size ones keep overheating all the time. Target has been destroyed. It would seem that Stardust it can take out the hammerhead at least at this point of game. I really hope it's not possible in the future, but now it was quite interesting fight. I think it's time to head back to home. Okay, landing mode on, just to soften the curves a bit and making it easier. Landing gear down. 
and in for noise landing. So I have to say that was an interesting experiment. Apparently the starter ship can take down a hammerhead at this point and let's hope when the server performance increases it won't be possible in any way. But thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.